The Demon's Forge. The Demon's Forge, right? So, this thing, uh, this thing came out on the Apple II in 1981. And that was moved to a PC booter, uh, I think in, according to Moby Games, 87. But that doesn't sound right. I think it, I feel like it was earlier than that. Don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> what is neat about this is that uh, it was made by Brian fucking, what's his face? I wrote it in the thing. What's his thing? Brian, Brian, Brian Fargo. That's the chap. That mate. Old mate. Yeah, Brian Fargo, <clears throat> who fucks Brian Fargo? Brian Fargo, after he did this, uh, went and founded Interplay, uh, which you've probably heard of. Um, I want to see if we can if we can beat Get Fucked Hard 1980s adventure game. All right. So this is no Sam and Max, LucasArts, Fiddly D bullshit. This is like Look at the Wall, fucking dead. <laughs> All right. So we're we're gonna do we're gonna be saving and we're gonna take notes. I got. Got my paper and I got my pen and we take some notes. I know how to do some of the first few rooms, and then after that, proper stuff. So it, you'll need I'll need you on this one. All right. Uh, instructions no. Uh, oh my god, I'm emulating too fast. All right. <coughs> you are at the entrance of the cave. So basically, um, we attacked a bunch of guards, and we're getting shoved into the Demon's Forge. No, we're not using the walkthrough. I'll fucking ban your ass, alright? Shut up. We're not using the walkthrough. We're gonna do this... ...legit. Alright? We're gonna do this legit. Alright? Um... Yeah, look at those glorious CJ graphics. Look at these sexy graphics. How are you, mate? Welcome in. Um, they do actually. Look at that shit. They got some. Look at that. They got some quality heels. That's a good point. Welcome in, sixty-five. That's a good point. They've got some quality heels on. So the story is, you killed some of these guys. And now you're getting sent into the Demon's Forge, which is like a prison that no one never gets out of. Kind of like Legend of Grimrock. Come fuck me, bitch. <laughs> I bet these puppies ride all the way up. You should screenshot this, crack out the, the crack out the um, the MS Paint, and just draw the blue booties all the way up. <laughs> How I am, Mikel, and welcome in, mate. And a Thursday penis for me. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. It's very kind of you. Um. Yeah, you should do that. You should. I want to see how far up these these boots go. Uh, anyway, so um, let's get cracking. Um, all right. So you're in the entryway. There's a costume here. Okay, we got a costume. What else have we got? We got a costume and we got a pack of rations. All right. Look at these graphics. They're so sexy. So I know the first few moves, figured that out over the course of the last, you know, 30 years, and then, then we'll get stuck pretty quickly. Costume, we've got the costume, check. We're not wearing our birthday suit anymore. All right, you're in someone's sleeping quarters. There's an old chest in the, in the corner. Open chest. All right, <laughs> look in chest. All right, there is a blanket and a pillow. Take blanket, take pillow. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Now, I do know if you move the chest, that took a billion years to find back in the day. Are you streaming in 4K? I might as well be. I mean, 320 by 200 CJ needs 4K glory. Needs 4K glory. Um, yeah, moving that chest, knowing to move the chest to find the bag of ashes, that there's about 20 years worth of fucking playing this game right there. Where am I to make him? <laughs> Take ashes. All right, we got a bag of ashes. Look at ashes. See, nothing special. Okay. Alright. Save game. Oh, see, there's some save games here already. Good. Paul's probably cracked this thing already. <laughs> Sniff ashes. 
Nah, it doesn't know how to sniff. There is, um, there's, there's some shortcuts with the F keys. F F1, F2, F3, do an inventory, look at the, help me. List the common, there we go, list the common verbs. So it's get, talk, up, drop, break down, throw, move, open, attack, read, close, eat, jump, quit, look, swim, and leave, taste ashes. I don't think we can, we can eat ashes. I can't eat the ashes, and I don't think we'll understand taste. But no tasty for you. No tasty for you. Alright. So we're in the entryway, blah, 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 blah. We can also do um, save states with this. We shouldn't need um, Now. Punished snake. Alright, now. Skinny man goes running by. You're in an old musty armory. There is an empty weapons closet in the corner. Alright. Should try moving it. This is this is another bit. This is the, now now the first twenty years was figuring out how to move the chest to get the ashes. The next twenty years was fi figuring this bit out. And you actually have to type follow skinny man. You can't actually pick a direction, right? And if you do that, this door is never normally here if you walk here by yourself, right? If you come in from this room normally, there's no door here, right? You actually have to type follow skinny man to get this secret door to open. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. This game is fucking hard. I'm telling you, this game is fucking hard. This man is skinny. Look at man. See nothing special. Talk to man. I'm skinny. Okay. Give man rations. Give rations. Alright, the skinny man quickly snatches his food and downs it. In return, he gives you a rod. I bet he does. Alright, we're going to costume a rod, a bag of ashes, a blanket, and a pillow. I just ended up in the grocery store. Right? Okay, we're gonna save game. Why is it called not saved? Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the saves. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh we're gonna save state. I'm a little bit worried about that. It didn't seem to be saving properly. All right, that's about as far as I've gotten in this thing in like 40 years. All right, so once we leave here, see how that door's closed now. So there's a statue of a bird head here. There's something in its beak. Look in beak. There's definitely something inside. I'm guessing use the rod. Alright, you insert the rod. Uh, the beak snaps shut on it. A red gen comes rolling out onto the ground. Okay, get gen. Alright, we're doing good. We're, we're like 50 years ahead now. Okay, so we save that. Uh, finally, I can see myself represented in a video game. Wait. Oh, you're the skinny man. Right. Right. I don't know if you're that skinny. He, he's like starving to death. Lovely whitewashed walls. Is it? Okay. Stop starving. Rakish in life. Alright. You are in the al Okay. You are in the alchemist's room. That's it. Can you search ashes? Search the ashes. Open ashes. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of any of that. It will not open. Okay. So we have a costume, a red gem, a bag of ashes, a blanket, a pillow. Search pillow? Search blanket? Search costume. Okay. A bit of a sig. You need a sig? Okay. Look table. Look under table. Move table. Moving around as we get you nowhere. Search me. Search me. Don't know how to search a me. That is some secure bag of ashes. It is a very secure bag of ashes. Okay. There's a weapon closet. Look closet. It's empty. Move closet. Push closet. Okay. You're in the Great Hall, and then you come out into... Uh, there's an old well that has some water in it. Look in well. It looks very... Okay. Then we've got... Uh, we're in... Anar Anarakhal's Laboratory. Okay. Don't know who that is. Wow. Monster Energy. It's the gamer's choice. That's the gamer's choice. JC, listen up. This is important. 
That's the gamer's choice. It's about the NSF. That's gamer's choice. You know those games where you see some shit and be like, inspect, and your character says some shit, I don't know? Yeah. The well is full of monster energy. We should dive in. We should dive in. Okay, look under that. It's empty. Okay. Right, there's a room of the burning bra bra brazier. Brazier. Look, brazier. It looks very hot. Alright, and then a huge open doors. Look, doors. Open doors. Alright, and that is about as far as I ever got as a young man. Save game. Save state. Done. That's it. That is as far as I got back in the day, legit. Okay? That's as far as we got legit back in the day. So. We got a costume, a red gem, a bag of ashes, a blanket, a pillow, and that's it. Piff shit in the fire, okay? Okay, burn gem. Burn ashes. Uh, you throw the bag of ashes into the brazier and Joe the fire elemental comes to your aid. Okay. As soon as you and Joe approach the doors, they go up in flames. There is an assassin here and he's been waiting for you. And I believe there is some poison dripping off his arrow. I don't know it burn assassin. The assassin shoots you in the side. And then you're dead. Okay. Well that was good, I guess. Uh So we know how to get through the door. Joe shit the bed. <laughs> the classic. All right, so we need to get past Joe. I've never even gotten that far. So we're already making huge progress. How do we stop the assassin from shooting me? Well, the 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 elemental burns the door down. Uh, that's all you get. We need some armor or something. We need a shield, right? Wear blanket. Wear, pi wear pillow. Uh, climb in vat. Enter vat. Oop, that's a bat. Enter vat. You jump down into the well and you drown. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I don't swim so good. Alright, and that's, that's, empty weapons closet. Look, uh, tapestry? Probably spelled that wrong too. You see nothing special. Move tapestry. You won't get far moving stuff. Shoot first. Yeah, a shield or maybe you can antidote in the alchemist lab. That's interesting. That's a good point. You know, this is the alchemist room, but it, it I can't it doesn't look like there's anything here. Look at that room. It looks nice. It's a nice <laughs> like a prison for life. It's a nice room. It looks nice. Okay, because there's no alchemical equipment in here. Wait, can we go south? No. North, east, south. No. Up down okay climb wall climb table oh, okay so there's no alchemical equipment there that's the statue of the bird's head where we got the gem I think the gem okay wait can we go back out can we just leave no. sorry I like a water bed What?
And then this is this is Anar Anarak Anarakle's inventory. Okay. But I can't swim. That's right. All right. So. Burn ashes. Well, I, I think from memory, if you don't have the gem, the, the elemental kills you. So it's the gem that lets me control the elemental. interesting how devious is that shit like the assassins are trick trick direction you're not even supposed to go that way or maybe i don't know what the fuck joe evaporates the water and vanishes you're at the bottom of the well it is slowly filling up. look door open door okay use gem with door How do I open this door? I am. I am. How the fuck? Oh, how do I open this door? It makes me wonder what else can we do with the elemental? Nah, no, he's gone. He got fizzled by the water. Knock on door. Good idea. Don't know how to knock. Break door. Eat door. <laughs> Alright, the water fills up and you drown. Alright. Okay. Okay, that's interesting though. Um, I see nothing special, but when you gotta open it, the door has no handle on it. Could I think we're already wearing it? I think we're already wearing it, but yeah, because if you don't have the costume at the very, very start of the game, I'll show you, I'll restart. If you do an inventory, it says you're wearing your birthday suit. And then when you pick up the costume, it no longer says that. Alright. So if I go... Here, right? You go inventory, you wear your birthday suit, and you have the pack of rations. Right? And when you get the costume, so we go get costume. It says you have the costume. So I think you end up putting the costume on. Let's see what else we can burn. Oh, I can use the arrow keys to move around. That's interesting. I didn't even mean to do that. It's a good fit. And then you're back to... Oh, you don't have your birthday suit anymore. Oh, yeah, birthday suit. So I think you're wearing the costume... I'm just trying to burn everything. Maybe... Uh, see... To me the gem looks like it sort of fits the, the door. I don't know. We need a handle. We need a handle. This, I mean, look at that. It's got handles. Break that. Burn that. No. Burn table. 
No. Don't we surprise uh, the assassin? Can't we attack? I don't think so. Burn door. All right. As um, soon as you and Joe approach the doors, they go up in flames. There is an assassin here and he's been waiting for you. And I believe there is some poison dripping from his arrow. I still have him. Burn assassin. You can't burn that. There's no other exits from his room anyway. And you die. That's the other thing. There doesn't seem to be a bit... Um... Actually, that's what I want to do. Let's go. Uh... Drop gem. Burn ashes. See? A huge insane fire elemental issues forth from the brazier and tortures you. Alright? So that that's why you need the gem. I don't think they work. Well, I can try it. Just dead and dead. Dead and dead, 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 dead. I mean, this way you do get to keep Joe. So if you were able to kill this guy, you could back out to the, um, you could back out to the well and then do that. I wonder if, you can't go backwards. You die instantly if you go backwards. You don't even get a chance to do so you get to do one thing when you're in the assassin room one thing um duck <laughs> yeah i can't help you in this room okay what happens if i go help me I can't help you in this room you are dead well, you get one and then you're shot and then you die, whatever the next action is. So you get one chance to not get shot. Okay, so if it doesn't know the command, at least you're not getting shot. Um, I tried attack. Kill assassin. Kill assassin, dead. Um, do... well, the vat is empty. There's nothing cooking there. And unless the door has a handle, once we've burnt it, we can get kill the assassin. We might be able to salvage a part of the door. The fact that he doesn't do anything after you kill attack maybe mean he's dead. No. The fact that I tried to kill him or attack him, it recognizes the command, but it did nothing. So then he does his thing. Is I think what it works. How it works. Alright, so we can save we can save that. We got We've got Joe. We've got Joe the Elemental. Can't talk to him. Okay. Okay, if you drop the gem while you've got Joe, he goes mental and kills you. That's interesting too. So you have to hang on to the gem. What if... What if we drop the gem when we're in the room with the assassin? What if the elemental goes berserk and kills the assassin and not me? Maybe. Oh, uh, yes, we have. Search costume. Search pillow. Search blanket. Search elemental gem. It just says we can't do that. All right, so I'm, I'm, let's try that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Double whammy. Double whammy. Joe the Elemental goes crazy and kills you. The assassin shoots you in the side. Would you like to play again? <laughs> Double dead. Oh, shit. See, I told you, this guy, guys, this was going to be hard. You were like, oh, no, it's just a bit piss of piss, is it, mate? We'll fucking smash it. No, it's hard. Damn hard. Told you this was hard. We're doing better than I ever did, but it's still damn hard. All right. The gem, the gem, I think dropping the gem was an idea. What's in the inventory? Okay, we have the costume. Test your might. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for that, Johnny. All right, we have a costume. We have the red gem. We have the blanket. We have the pillow. And we have the elemental. That is all. That is all. I'm happy to hear suggestions. I mean, can we wear the blanket? No, okay. Equip? What is it? No, that's not it. Okay, jump is apparently a thing. Lee, okay, can you jump? What you wish to jump? Okay. So nothing appears off the top of the paint. Hey? What, who now? Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I can re remove the graphics so you can see everything. Costume, red gem, blanket, pillow, elemental. That is everything we've got. Attack is a command. Attack is a command, but it doesn't seem relevant here. We've got break. We've got break here. But attacking the assassin doesn't work. I think we need a weapon. Or something. But I don't have a weapon. So maybe there's something else we have to do with the elemental first. Because the blanket and the pillow don't feel like they're doing much. Um... See, it tells you that all the time. Moving things around gets you nothing, but if you, the first time you move the chest, you... You get the ashes. Get invisible weapon. It's empty. I want it to be full. That's interesting. It says I can't kill that. But if you attack the assassin, no, nah, nothing. And there's nothing in the alchemist's room. Search room. Get every object here. There are no objects in this room. Get that. I didn't even think of that. Can we pick it up? It's too heavy. Okay. 
Get the table then. Bring the table with us. Alright, so I feel like we've got all the objects we could possibly have. Get an assassin. <laughs> you come with me now, yoink. <laughs> oh. I really thought, I really thought dropping the gem. But you can't burn the assassin. You can't attack the assassin. Does it understand dodge? I don't know how to understand. Dark, evade. Okay, block. Eat the gem. Because the gem's just letting us control the elemental. That's it. So really all we've got is a blanket, a pillow, and an elemental. <clears throat> Man, this is hard. We think about what we're carrying, right? We got a costume which All right, let's let's try. Let's go in naked. I am going to kill you. Why? Hello, fight. It is too heavy for me. The poison kills you. So, dropping the costume didn't do anything. You can't burn him with the elemental. I don't know how to attack a worth. Yeah. I don't know how to attack an assassin. Did I spell it wrong? Yes, it's two S's in front. Okay, hang on. Maybe I was spell spelling it wrong. Maybe I'm, I'm... Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you attack him or not. It just... It, attack is not going to work. Okay, attack is just not going to work. <coughs> We need to think of something else. So I think the well, the well feels fine, sort of. Yeah, go and give me a hit then. Just a hint though. I still like to do this one as normal as I can. As non-cheaty as I can. I know I knew it was gonna be crazy hard. I remember it being crazy hard. Alright. Okay, cannot search the costume. Examine costume? Ah, you have to use examine. Okay, so it was, we were doing the right thing in terms of searching the costume. The problem was, is we weren't using one examine instead of search and we weren't using, so we had to use keyword examine and we had to do it while it was on the ground. Okay. I'm assuming this is some sort of antidote. So let's... Let's save again.
There we go, we got him. His pockets look full. But then this time you do use search. How bizarre. There's not a consistency. And you find a chime. Okay. I don't want to use it just yet. Let's, uh, let's save. Chime. Yeah, but I had to examine the costume, not search the costume. And it made the vial appear. I had to examine the costume for the vial to appear. But I had to search the assassin for the chime. It's like, yeah, I would have searched the costume, not examined. I agree, examine is to look at. So how did I make the vial pop out just by looking at it? It doesn't make sense. Okay, um, so we've got a chime. Okay, so we've got the chime. We still have... We still have the elemental. A chime? No. Don't know how the chime is going to help me with the door with no handle at this stage, unless it's some sort of magic door. So I think... I really wish I knew more about this chime. I mean, it's, it just looks like a cigarette box or something. Like a, a, a pack of cigarettes or a, or a matchbook. I mean, a chime. I mean, like... A keychain? Or are you talking about, like, something you hang and the wind blows in it? Thank you. It's about finding that word, isn't it? It's about finding the verb. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're just going to ring chime everywhere. do every screen really there's not that many all right well we've used the chime in every room except the well so I'm going to save the game. Oh boy! Okay. So... That was a bit of an illogical puzzle. Why would a chime open a door? Because. Alright. Uh, let's save. Okay. The trick room. First left and then right until stop. Until stop. Uh, examine room. Okay. He looks a bit dehydrated. Can only carry six objects. Okay. That's interesting.
So I've got one, two, three, I've got five with me. Big teeth bite you and you die. Okay. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Yeah, that's true. I just realized you're probably right. Um, so I need to go. I need to get killed again. Wait, does this does this load actually work? Okay, give rations. Okay, do we have the rod? Okay, I can catch up to where we were quickly. Okay, um... Aha! Good call. You used the walkthrough, but thank you. Okay, give water, uh, give vial to rabbit. Ah, there you go, the water, hey! Save over pool too. Alright, uh, get hat. Okay, drop vial. Uh, what else have we got that's useless? Well, not useless, but we'll drop the chair. We'll drop the time for now get wand get hat okay actually drop hat examine hat search hat get hat examine hat wear hat Nothing. bounces around the room so we can You've already used the wand. Oh, okay, you get one go at the, at the wand. Okay. Oh, small grotto to the north. There is a door of rubber here. The wand emits a fireball which roars out, melting the door, unfortunately catching the rug on fire. Ah, oh, the flame surge upward and kill you. Oh. Oh, there's a magnificent waterfall here. Okay. So what if we drop hat, get vial, get water? Can't reach the water. I was musing that a soft lock would be funny. Oh, yeah, I think there's going to be plenty of them in this thing. There is, isn't there? Can't go in that direction. Look, water, examine. We don't, we don't look at anything search waterfall it's just waterfall it says waterfall but it's like it doesn't even recognize the waterfall okay look sword look anvil take sword 
You are not a king. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wave one. Use blanket. That does the trick. The flames have been extinguished. Alright. Oh! Progress! Look at us smashing it. One, two, three, four, five. Take axe. I got the axe. The Horadric Malice. That's it. Go back to Chassis, get some shit viewed, yo. So we got one, two. One, two, three. We got all six. We got six items. We've still got a chime and a top hat here. Oh boy, there is a splendid view of a forest here. There are mirrors all around. Okay. It's amazing. And it changes. Like it says you can't go that direction, you go left. Like, okay, hang on a sec. Can't go that direction. Go backwards, go forwards, can't go in that direction. So this is just meant to be a maze. Shattered the mirror in a hundred shards. Okay, I don't know if that's good or not. We're in the guard room. We got through the maze somehow. And we left behind, or oh, we left behind the wizard's hat. And the chime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the vial and I get the hat. I have been free to do shit, exactly. I should probably drop the wand. Because it's already been used. And we'll get... What are you... I, I think the containers... I mean, we used the chime to get... Uh, in here. I feel like... That's probably a better go. Because we haven't used the pillow. We've kind of already used the gem. But one, two, three, that, that's all we can take with us. I'll save here. All right. And they're there, okay. Uh, there are the guards' sleeping quarters. This is the training room. This is the four-way intersection, which means we can go south, okay. What the fuck? Okay, there's me. Read any good books lately? No. Read any good books? An electronic old man and his flexibility. Oh, 
Okay. There must be 78. Shit. Seventy-eight books here. I don't know. I'm gonna put seventy-eight books. Yeah. Okay. Read book. Oh. Okay. Read one. Read two. Read three. Read four. Read five. Read six. Read seven. Read eight. Read nine. Read. We're just brute forcing this. Read eleven. Read twelve. Read thirteen. 14, 15, read 16, read 17, read 18, we do up, no, read 19, read 20, read 21, read 22, 23, 24, 5, 6, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32, Three, four. We're halfway there. There's only seventy eight books. I missed read forty five, six, read forty seven, eight. There you go. It's a story about a man who wasted his life by, re by reading books in the library. Nice. Read 52. So Greek implies real world. Dudes. We've read all the books, and the only one that's interesting is 51, and it's a story about a man who kills himself by reading books in the library. You're in the robing room. Uh, examine wardrobe. Uh, examine... Okay. Whatever. Oh boy, there are four staves here. The first staff is glowing. Looks hard as a rock. intersection of the elements. There's nothing in the vial. I reached the water. Uh, there's a glass spot. Okay. There's a lot of rooms to play with here. You just climb the wall. You just climb the wall, no worries. What's the end of the tutorial, right?
Ah. You are a cool person and I won't allow it. Okay. Just out of curiosity. This is a massive long corridor for some old dude. Dig where X's are and are not. Okay, dig with what? Oh shit. Okay, you're just in a garden. I am not a monkey. I mean, you could be. So we need a shovel. to the roof. Interesting. Alright, so we've got some boots of levitation there. That's interesting. Break the game? Is it an amulet? Right, okay. It's a pendant. It's a pendant. Okay. I don't want to use the boots yet. I think I, I wasn't fine. But drop, drop, drop gem, drop costume. What else are we not you? Drop vibe. Okay, we get we get some space. We get some. Zara and husband found. Ah oh, yes, I saw that case. Yeah yeah yeah. Actually, hang on a second. Birthday suit, does that count as an item? It probably does. It makes no difference. Yeah, I saw that case. Yeah, her and her husband were diddling, um, like, teenage girls and stuff. Right, so if I drop costume... Get staff one. It turns into a shovel. conspiracy they're just evil and they want to diddle kids yeah 
Yeah, back to the garden. I think so. Ah, we've got a carrot. Okay, well that's that's neat. Okay, so that that's death. So it's just the first one. You do? Lots of interesting colours in it. We can get the carrot. Put the pillow there for now. Sort of make a bit of a um, bit of a, a storage. Yeah, maybe we bump into the rabbit again, right? There is a, there is a bottle here. Oh, fuck. So I wanted to sort of... No, not that way. Create a room of stuff. Uh, drop axe. Yeah, the good old CJ colors, mate. That's it. Yeah, you got to see nothing special. Too dark to read the bottom. Okay. Costume hat, set of boots, pendant, bottle. You would, you would, you would, you would think that you would get the water out. So we can burn something there. There's an ore hopper here. Look in the hopper. It's empty. Does the bottle have stuff in it? I don't know. It just says look in bottle. Examine bottle. It just examine bottle battle. Examine bottle. See nothing special. Um, I mean, what we'll do? I'll save it. We'll try. We'll try um, drinking. I drink that. Use bottle? Oh, don't know. We've got boots of levitation. where there are X's and where there are not. Now I just wonder if there's some sort of ulterior 
meaning to digging where the X's are. Alright, that's a good idea. Dig roof. I can't reach the roof. Wear boots. Dig roof. Oh, you dig the roof and a mound of dirt falls to the ground. The boots start working and you drop. Examine dirt. Search dirt. Get dirt. Okay. Drop shovel. Get dirt. Interesting. Eat dirt. Yes. It's delicious. It's all in my mouth. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, save. Okay, we could probably drop, drop the boots too. I feel like we've done everything we can do with the boots and the shovel. It's too heavy for me. Water is too dark. Okay, where are we going to put this dirt? Then there's the thing with the books. Oh, I have the mound. Costume, hat, pendant, bottle, mound. Dig where X's are and not. There goes in the mining hopper. Okay, we can try that. So I got five items. You're transported back to the staff room. Only three staffs remain. Second staff is now glowing. Ah, Scamachi! So each staff is going to help us solve the problem of an element. I get it. Get it. I get it. I get it. Get second. It reads, My death is your life. Death is your life. My death, your life. We bludgeon the old man to death with the rod. Death. Yes, yes. Fuck yes. There is no writing on this staff. It's just a staff. Okay, that that's a bit glitchy. So there's a staff. Oh wow, like what the fuck? That was just a fluke. 
That was just a flick because I figured. Okay. To avoid eternal strife, you must give the breath of life. Okay, I'm going to write this down because I'll be like, I need to know how to solve this puzzle. To avoid eternal strife. must give the breath of life which is like air right do this D first pay nothing else heed Okay, I've written that down. Ah, hang on. All these words may be the last that you read. The last that you read. You are transpacted. Okay, only one staff. It is very bright now. Okay. In a safe state. So. Oh, fuck yeah. Grab the last staff and the statue animates to life and demands that you drop the last staff before leaving. free to go. Ah, we're past him. There is a drop off ahead. We go back. And you plunge. Uh, okay, that's it. Dead. <laughs> what the fuck? To avoid eternal strife, you must give the breath of life. Yeah, so I guess you've got to do that before you... Is this just a diversion? Is this a red herring? I wonder. Costume, carrot, hat, bottle. But we can carry two more things. We've got a bottle of air, so I mean... That helps us levitate, right? Alright, so we get the pillow, because the pillow we haven't used yet. Um, we can grab one more thing. 
One, two, three, four, five. What do you reckon we bring with us? The pendant really hasn't done anything other than we read it. Um, the boots were a one-time thing. We used them to get to the roof. Uh, I'll get the pendant, right? I don't know if it's going to be useful, but... Like, I feel like we've used that. That that was a lot allowed us to get... Makes the most sense. Like, we did... The axe is kind of nice, but we used it to break the mirror. So, I mean... We'll see how we go. We'll, we'll make a save. We'll save here and like Paul 3. I don't know who Paul 3 Paul is, but thanks for the saves games. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to drop the um, pendant for a second. Get fourth. But we can run around and use this stuff somewhere else. It's just that you can't leave the area until you drop it. You know what I mean? Like we can go and explore all the other rooms and use the fourth staff. But I don't know, I don't know if there's any point. And you're free to go, so get pendant. Now we can go through that door. Okay. I'm kind of interested in reading Ramiro's... Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, 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 he's doing his, um... thingy. Alright. So, do we feel like we're done with all of this area? So let's do a, a save. Now that we're allowed to leave... Uh, the torch we used to burn one staff, we used the other staff there, we put the dirt in there, we got the bottle from there, so I feel like that's all kind of behind the wall apparently. There's this library book shit. And then old mate at the end of a thousand meter long bullshit corridor. He's just, he's just disgruntled. He's just sitting in a dungeon being all fucking disgruntled and shit. I should gruntle him. Yeah. This is the training room. Let's train. You don't know how to train. You don't know how to train. Well, you shit. It's a montage sequence. You can read flog the tapestry. Flog the tapestries, right? How bizarre was that? You have to use boots of levitation to dig the ceiling. All right. Look at the eye. Look door. Examine door. Is a drop off. Okay. We need to somehow survive this drop off. You can't go back in any direction, and if you go forward, you plunge off the drop off and break your back. The end. Alright, I need suggestions here. How do we not just die? Once I go through that door to the east, uh, that's it. There's no coming back. It's going to be something dumb, isn't it? Like, use the bottle. Ah. Well, we could try. I don't think so, but we could try. It's too heavy for me. It is too heavy for me. So May 8th, did y'all do a wondrous thing for the what? 
Oh, yes, we had Mother's Day on Sunday past. Yep. Um, my daughter bought her some gifts. And uh, we went to see Doctor Strange at the cinema in the evening. Uh, and we had uh, homemade pizzas for dinner. It is so cliche, but I've, I've like... I read all 78 books. The only one that had anything interesting was Read 51. It's a story about a man who has wasted his life away reading books in the library. I don't know how to get... But, and, and any other book you read just says it was written in Greek, and I don't read Greek. So... And you can't get a book. It is too heavy for me. The books are too heavy. So, I don't know. I feel like they're a bit of a herring. Knowledge is a mighty heavy thing. That is a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I get a sneaky suspicion. I don't know. Unless you've got to read them in a specific order to unlock, like, a combination or something. Because the old man says, you know, about... Read, read any good books lately. That's all he says. The disgruntled old man says, have you read any good books lately? And you've got a library with exactly 78 books. It just says there must be 78 books. Is there? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. One, two... Sixty seems plausible. Sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, seventy. I don't know where he's getting these other eight books from. He's making it up. Can you read all the pink books? Uh, or all the blue books. Maybe that's the clue. Is there a teach yourself Greek book? <laughs> Learn Greek. Uh, did you try landing on the pillow at the drop off? It seems dumb enough to work. I, I don't know how though. I'm not sure how to facilitate that. Use pillow. Throw pillow. That is so retarded! That is so retarded! <laughs> oh, did you walk through that? Or was it legit? I mean, if it was legit, kudos to you. Oh boy. That is the dumbest thing ever. Like, you jump off this massive cliff, and you know, you land on a... That's on crack, yeah. <laughs> That's some fucking moon logic right there, I suppose. I don't know how that is a Warner Brothers cartoon now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, the pillow softens landing. You're in the ice room, there is a pillow here. Okay, so I'm gonna save we'll go over pool four. You are in the torture chamber. Uh you are facing east in front of a spectacular altar. Examine altar. It looks like you could move, move altar. There is a passage behind the altar. You're in the antechamber room. You're in the slaves room. We're in Poppins territory. <laughs> it is not even. I think Dig Roof was no neat command too. Yeah. What is the slave room? I don't know. Stripper slave. Get key. Okay. You can see a sign. Read sign. Okay. How the fuck did we get here? Oh, 
Christ, what a mess. You're in a chamber of pillars. Here is a ri there's just a river running through the fucking room, right? Doesn't have dances. Oh, an evil bridge. The bridge could not stand all of your, all of your weight, and it collapses. Ah, so maybe we have to drop a whole bunch of gear first. Okay. Drop carrot. Drop carrot. Drop hat. Too much still. Drop pendant. Drop bottle. <laughs> there we go. There's a gold sphere, platinum sphere, and a... Oh, you only get one go. Okay. You only get one go at this. You can get two. Alright, but before we do that, we should probably find out... That's a good question, too. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, before we do that, we should find out where we might need, or how we could use... Because we can only carry two. Right? The hell's the key for? We need some sort of binoculars or something, right? Okay, so that's how that works. That's a weird directional thing. Alright, and we still haven't used the carrot. So what do you reckon? What do you reckon? We've got a carrot we haven't used yet, waiting for some sort of rabbit. We've got a key, a pendant, a bottle. Now, the pendant and the bottle, I think, arguably, we've used. Get hat, get carrot, right? This is what I would want to carry around. Carrot in the ass. <laughs> right, so that that's probably what... And then two spheres. Which would bring me up to six items, right? Because we use that to get down here, we use that, I think, to complete the fourth staff puzzle, and we use that uh, because it has a clue on where to dig. Um, so we got these spheres. They're good for your eyesight. That's a really good point. No, 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 you just gave me an enormously good idea. Uh, there's that sign that we can't read. Right? Read sign. Your eyes are not going to eat carrot. 
You can see much better. Read sign. <laughs> oh, lordy. Uh, within the forge. Oh, boy. Within the forge. <laughs> An oracle goes to test the metal of his foes. To test the metal of his foes. To pit his claws. Against copying this down, old steel. Comedy oh, gold. This game officially gargles. <laughs> 1981, man. 1981. Uh, but we're beating it. This is the thing. We're still beating it, despite the the cock gargling and the monkey island. We're still winning. Uh, without a walkthrough, uh, Ponsonby assures me that that the uh, the two bits of help so far, or well, two or three bits of help that he's given me that have worked, were not due. To... The, we know we did one hint, didn't we? Did we one hint, which was the costume, and that was just a case of not un us not understanding the game mechanics. Into a oh my god, more writing of sword. So he's a whirlwind barb. Okay, spear. They armeth not. Didn't say axe though. Nor ages cold or timeless light. My handwriting is not the best. But I should be able to read this. But balls of value. Shirk his. Okay, so here we go. This is the clue, but. Balls of value shirk his hold when held with power slight to bold. That's the clue right there, slight to bold, right? When hurled with power light to bold yes that's how I see it okay so not really necessary <sighs> no age is cold or time this right but balls of value well platinum gold and silver are all valuable Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would take in this instance, I would take gold and platinum. Absolutely, I mean, they're going to be the most, the most valuable, right? Okay. Okay, so that frees up a slot because we've eaten the carrot. So we've got the key and the hat. Okay, so we'll save. I don't know. Did it say spin? Within the forge, old mate goes to test hit the metal of his foes, to pit his claws against cold steel, spin wise the globes into a wheel. That's true. Doesn't understand spin. spin. Doesn't understand spin. Oh, there's plenty of these old sorts of games out there, Des. Uh, a lot of them were only on Commodore 64 too. Like Commodore 64 and the Apples had a lot of these because they predate. Because the PC wasn't sort of really doing much till the mid 80s, and by that stage you'd you'd missed bloody five, eight years of this sort of stuff. Um. So a lot of these, a lot of these really early text adventures with graphics. I found on like the Commodore 64 and the Apple II and stuff. Not so many on the PC. Alright, uh, Zaman Gold. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, let's take gold. 
take platinum. We'll leave the silver here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Idea. I got an idea, I got an idea. I got an idea. What if we just get one? Get get gold. Bridge still collapses. Okay, I thought maybe we could get like if we did one at a time. It didn't it. You know, I don't understand jump, right? Commonly used verbs are jump. Jump. I don't understand what... Okay, jump bridge. An idea. Bust the bridge. Oh, we did, but it's it's collapsed now. So uh, you can only. So where we're at here is we've got it. We've put all our stuff on the ground. We've got nothing on us. The bridge is intact. We can take two of these. So we can say like get gold, get platinum, we'll leave the silver, and once we go back, bridge is collapsed, right? And we can't go back to get the third one. And we're debating on whether we, we need the third one or not, and uh, what we're even going to use them for. We don't know how to jump a river. I don't think we've used jump at all. It's It's like... It's list, it's it's one of the common verbs, but I don't think we've jumped anything at all, all game. I do, we haven't even encountered the demon yet. I don't know how to get across this river. Um, yeah, so the pillars don't exist, they're not real. Maybe. I could try that. I'll just do jump river. No. Uh, the big riddle was. I mean, you can, well, I can actually read it for you. Yeah. The sign reads Within the forge, we're in the demon's forge now. And our an Arakal goes to test the metal of his foes. To pit his claws against cold steel. Spin wise the globes into a wheel. So uh, like bring the whole thing up at once. There we go. Of so Ah, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Spin wise the globes into a wheel of sword and spear, they harmeth not. Nor ageless cold, nor ti or timeless rot, but balls of value shirk his hold, when held with power, slight the bold. It's, it's a kerfuffle. It's a kerfuffle. Spin them into a wheel, it must be how you get across the bridge. 
Maybe. I don't know what that's supposed to be in the corner, but I'm guessing it's not relevant. That's, you know what, that's not as, I mean, that is a stupid idea, but, you know, you might be onto something there. You might be onto something there, mate. You are a good juggler. Where did the gold sphere go? Is that perhaps the... So that helps whittle it out. So you need platinum and silver. That's how you know which one you don't need. You have to juggle them. Mm. I'm, I'm guessing that's, that's that. We'll save it down here on like not saved or whatever, just in case. Oh, we've got a gold sphere, a platinum sphere. We've got the hat. We got the key, and I feel like we've used these other three things. So all I really need to do is figure out how to get across this bloody river. Guess the command. Ah, you're in an ancient crypt. The key is rusty and does not work. How do we make it unrusty? Okay, we can still we can still do this. Okay, we just gotta do swim to get over. Okay, so we've got the key, but the key is rusty. Unlock door. The key is rusty and does not work. If that is right, I hate this game lol. I was just trying to think of strange spinning them in a circle. It seemed to be legit, man. Um. sure how to just clean it yeah I mean add, add some more rust to it and then you find out it's like you left something behind 15 rooms ago that you needed <laughs> you have to use the axe on the key or something you're like what fuck off <laughs> hey I've got I've got the gold sphere back. One, two, three, four, five, six.
What? Oh, I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. Because you're juggling the spheres, you're only ever carrying two at a time and not three. So you're not, you don't weigh that much so that you can... <laughs> Fuck off. That is... Wow. Wow. So your reason you're juggling them is so that you're not carrying as much stuff so you don't weigh as much. <laughs> oh man, that's really something. That's really something. Whew. All right. Um. Is weak to literal clowns. Exactly. Okay. Alright, what do you reckon? Shop on you. I have no idea how to clean this rusty key. We've cracked some perlas, but I think we might need another hint, Ponsonby. I, I think we tried that too, but I mean, rust isn't going to really want it. Wash key, clean key, you I don't know, drop key, get key, um, use key in river. Suck key. Hey, Atro, how are you, mate? Welcome in. You missed the start of this, but we're doing really well. We're doing really well. I feel like we're getting dangerously close to finishing this. Um. I did try a uh, throw key. We've got to throw the key across the river so it doesn't get rusty. Ah, uh, he, he, I asked for a hint on that one. I think, or was that, was that just, you, you found that naturally, or was that, was that the, um... Yeah, you had to look that one up. Yeah. Alright! You're face to face with himself. Okay. Throw silver sphere. Throw gold sphere. Throw platinum sphere. Hits the demon and destroys him in a blinding flash. The demon's throne slides aside, revealing a dim cavern that winds its way up to the surface. You step into the... 
bright sunlight and are immediately arrested by guards. They bring you before the king who returns your original weapon and clothing. Well done, champion. Um, by returning from the demon's forge, you have regained your freedom. We win. Not bad, team. We had two hints. We had two hints. One was to examine the costume at the start instead of search costume, and you had to put it on the ground first. So it was very particular. I had to search the co put the costume on the ground and then examine it, not search it. And the other one we needed a hint for was at the end there where we had to throw the key across the water so it didn't get rusty. I was getting there. I think we would have got the key one eventually. I think we would have got the key one there eventually. It was all you, it was. Two hints and both were the puzzles that give you no indication of how to solve. I, I, I was guessing the key was rusty because of the water. That was banging around the back of my head. So I feel like I would have got that one eventually. I would have thrown the key in and, and realized. But apart from that, and the costume one just... I, I think I found that vial once before. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But that one would have got me. Yeah, right? Your stars was fun, but I don't like it. I don't know if two million hours ago. <laughs> For guessing the sphere spinning thing. Man, that was it was. It was. But see again, like I wouldn't have figured that out. You whether through through skill or luck, you know, the juggle worked. So we did it as a team. That was satisfying and rewarding. I like the fact that we did it uh well, this is the thing. I mean, a lot of these text adventures like Zork and stuff, that was the thing. You didn't have the internet. What you had was communities and workplaces and colleges and stuff like that. So people people would come in, you know, the next day and be like, oh, shit, I got through this room. And they'd be like, oh, crap, wow, how did you do it? Oh, I did this. And then everyone would go off and work on the next room. And it was like, you know, communities were playing games. It was really cool. Um, and today we don't do that. Today you get stuck, you just Google the answer, right? And you can solo mode this shit. So playing these sorts of things with a community is a bit more fun. You could call up, yeah, but I mean, if we're talking late 70s, early 80s, you know, in the real early days, that stuff didn't exist. You know, it really was just communities. Uh, I think that's damn cool. So I, I like I like the fact that, you know, you can do that. But yeah, we win. 